pause recording. Okay, so today we're gonna do um, tone and tone. So tone with weights and then tone for vagal nerve. So if you all remember, and I'm gonna get sexy, if you all remember, vagal tone, right, is the, the nerves. It's a, what, the third cranial nerve? I can't remember. Actually, I could look at 10th cranial nerve um, at the base of the skull, and it extends into your heart. It extends into your, I don't want to get this wrong, um, digestion, your gut, your intestines, your colon, your sweat, your muscle movements. It affects your speech and your hearing. Um, basically, goes through all of the organs. The two yoga poses that affect and tone the cranial nerve, not the cranial nerve, the vagal nerve the most, are backbends and inversions. And I really looked forever to try to find a picture of why it tones it the most, but um, I couldn't find anything. So maybe I'll take a picture of one of us today or later um, that shows it. So we're gonna start today um, child's pose. Jackie started that. So let's go ahead and come into child's pose. The other thing in toning vagal nerve is your pranayama. The pranayama we're going to do now is gonna be just a simple inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Just come into your own ratio of doubling the exhale. So it can be an inhale of two, an exhale of four, whatever you would like. Just kind of come into that breath. And then at the end of the practice, we're gonna finish with a, pra a yoga breath called, well, I can tell you what it is, it's a cooling breath which is another way of toning the vagal nerve. Um, and people with optimal vagal tone are the most resilient under stress and can easily shift from an excited state to a relaxed state and vice versa. So I think right now we could all use a little bit of that, right? So as you're doing that, I'd like you, as you start to melt in child's pose and you feel like the back of the neck starts to lengthen with the upper back, See if you can draw the chin inward slightly to kind of feel that tone in the throat. That's, you know, where it starts. And then maybe you start to keep the breath in and out through the nose only and just start to awaken into this area, performing this vagal tone to affect your mood today, to affect your, your overall sense of feeling in health, in physical health. So since the vagal tone defines the functional status of the vagus nerve, it may seem obvious that people with optimal activity into these parts of the body will feel good and have that cool attitude. So that's what we're going for today. A nice, cool, calm, collected attitude, but badasses. How do you like that? <laughs> good. Go ahead and come up tabletop and all the way up downward dog. Let's do this today. Oh, you all pop right up like a Pop-Tart out of a toaster. Good, relax the neck. Go ahead and bend one knee and then the other. <laughs> I'm so nuts, we know this. Yeah, just begin. <laughs> oh, I know, Laura. We're all birds of the same flock or feather or whatever. <laughs> and then go ahead and still your downward dog. And I want you to kind of hunt for that vagal tone again. And this is kind of an inversion, right? Because the heart is superior to the brain. So just notice that each time you come into downward dog, it is a sense, a, a toning. And then go ahead and look between your hands and step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, right? Spread that chin high. And then exhale, refold down and lengthen the spine. Nothing crazy just yet. Inhale, slowly lift all the way up, mountain pose, hands over your head, and then hands at the heart center. So today we're gonna to change it up a little bit with the sun salutation, because I wanna add a back bend if that's okay, because back bends again are invigorating. Inhale, lift the arms over your head and pause, right? And then scoop the spine really tall and then lift your collarbones or your heart to the ceiling, like a baby back bend, right? That's gonna be our sun salutation today. Forward fold to the ground, halfway lift again, please. Yeah, so I'm gonna pause here again. So um, those of you who do not have fingers on the floor, I want you to try to get your fingertips on the floor. And I don't want your knees to be locked, right? So chill out those knees over there. I see everybody's cray cray. And then eventually I want you to see and measure if you can get your palms flat by the end of the practice in the halfway lift. This is gonna ask for your spine to get taller, much better. Cool, all right, step back, plank. <laughs> Sorry, Kara. And chaturanga. <laughs> 
up dog. Here's another back bend. So feel the tone, downward dog. Okay, take three rounds of breath in and out through the nose and look for that tone. Look for that tone that kind of chimes in to your key. Perfect, and downward dog, excellent. Okay, we're gonna go through another sun salutation. Okay, so gaze between your hands. Don't dump into your pinkies, everyone. Also use the four corners, step forward, which means that one of you is at least halfway lift. <laughs> yeah, all the way back down and fold, much better. Good, inhale, hands over the head normal exhale hands to the heart internally rotate the thighs now you guys start to activate your inner thighs there we go nice inhale arms up over your head again add that big sweeping back bend exhale forward fold halfway lift again at your own pace we're just warming up and then back again plank to chaturanga or knees chest chin you guys know you can always do that a smile is always welcome thanks jack downward dog <laughs> The tongue out is also helpful, you know. All right, take three breaths again, tone away. Tone the inner thighs even here. Make sure that looks so much better. Don't dump into your pinkies because I'm someone who did that for years and now at night my pinkies fall asleep because I was not using everything properly. Terrific, I know. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. <laughs> Exhale, right foot in between your hands and lower the left knee. Good. Send the hips forward, inhale, circle the arms all the way up. And then exhale, lean forward with the arms and just hover your body over that right leg. Perfect, good. So we're gonna incorporate weights in a moment. Bring the hands down, frame that foot, nice lower. Step the right leg back, chaturanga. Yep, nice and slow, up dog, down dog. Lovely, nice gaze there, Miss Kara. Three breaths, downward dog. Good, nice hips, nice and high, Deb. Good, left leg up to the sky with your inhale. Left foot in between your hands with your exhale. Good, bring the right knee down, drive the hips forward, circle the arms all the way up. Good, exhale, lean forward, hover the belly over the left leg. Beautiful, okay, so just look for that upper back getting ready to add some extra weight. Hands down, frame the left foot, step back, chaturanga. Kelly, I'll give you a, a shout out too. Although I can't see you, I know you're practicing. Up dog or cobra, down dog. <laughs> awesome. Okay, three breaths and downward dog. Good. And then we're gonna look forward between our hands, please, and step forward. Grab your light weights if you're going to use them today or cans or water bottles or, you know, whatever the hell you found. Cool. All right. So we're going to go right into a chair pose flow to get into the body. So I won't look as well as you guys look because I'm just starting to move. So just, you know, do the best you can with your own body type. All right, here we go. We're going to sink the hips, navel in, pelvic draws forward, inhale, circle the arms forward, chair pose. Good. And then exhale, press the arms back. Palms face away from you. Good. Inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, press back. You're going to feel this in your spine. Inhale one more time. Exhale, press back. Excellent. Inhale, arms over your head. Palms face each other. Left leg all the way back, crescent lunge. Left knee down to the floor. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, lean forward. Draw the arms behind you. Good. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, draw the arms behind you, lean forward. One more time, just like this. Inhale, and then exhale, bring it back. Good, bring the arms up and over your head. Lift the left knee up. Step forward, chair pose. Good, ground down. Bring the arms behind you. Circle up, inhale. Press back, exhale, triceps. Good, one more time. Inhale, press back, triceps. Inhale, circle. Step it back with the right leg. Lower the right knee down. Bring the arms down to the side of the waist. And here we go. Inhale, circle them up. Press back, triceps, lean forward. Two more, just like that. We know the motion now. Keep the belly active. Exhale and press. Inhale and circle. And the breath and the heart should start pumping a lot more, which we know is part of the vagal tone. Inhale, arms up. Lift the right knee, chair pose, step forward. Exhale, forward fold. Slight bend to the knees. 
This time on purpose, lift the weights halfway up. Good. All the way back down. Step it back with the right leg. Inhale, crescent lunge. This time we're staying high. Exhale, lean forward, cross back. Two more. Inhale. And we're going to go on and off with these weights. Exhale, lean forward, palms up. Inhale, palms together over the head. Belly tight. Exhale, fold. <laughs> Good. Chair pose, step forward. Exhale, press back. Inhale, circle. Keep that pelvic aligned. Exhale, press. One more. Inhale. Exhale, press. Good. Step it back, left leg. High crescent. Good. Inhale, over the head. Lean forward and press back. Really get it into these spinal erector muscles. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale. One more, please. And then we're going to go down into a plank posture. Weights come down to the floor. Bring them down. Step back, right foot. Adjust the body. Lower down. Up dog. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, down dog. Good. Terrific. All right, go ahead and take your three breaths in your downward dog. Find that alignment, find that tone that goes through the throat all the way into the organs. Lift the right leg up as you inhale. Set the right foot in between your hands as you exhale. Okay, leave your hands on the floor. Left leg up to the sky. Good, okay, so we're in a standing splits. Inhale, belly tight, lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, forward fold. Then I want you to lift the left leg higher, keep it straight, and imagine kicking the outside of the mat to the right. We're gonna do three of these. All the way up, inhale. Kick the outside of the mat to the right, two. Inhale. Outside of the mat, three. Inhale. Good, now we're gonna bring the left knee into the right knee, the left foot stays up. So left knee into the right knee, and then up, that's one. <laughs> yep, two more. Two, and three, and then we're gonna add a full curtsy lunge. So grab your weights, belly tight. If you have lower back issues, I would not grab your weights, okay? Three curtsies, here we go. The arms are gonna lift up over your head. Left foot outside the mat to the right. Both knees bend, arms up. That's one, bring it down. Left leg up, curtsy to the right, that's two. Kara, I can already hear it, it's gonna say more. You're gonna make me sore tomorrow, aren't you? Here's three. Kara calls me usually about four hours later. She's like, you jerk. <laughs> In a good way. Good. Left leg down. Coming all the way up. Mountain pose, no weight. All the way up to the sky. Hands to the heart. Good. Act your back bend. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Pick up your weights. Halfway lift. Inhale. So it's kind of like a deadlift. All the way back down. Step it back. Both feet plank. No weight, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, downward dog. Take your three breaths. Feel the difference between the right leg and the left leg. The left leg should feel a little tighter, a little less uh, caressed. We're going to caress that now. Left leg up to the sky, inhale. Left foot in between your hands, exhale. Fingertips on the ground, here we go, float the right leg up. Get strong, forward fold, body over the left leg. Okay, here we go. Right leg is gonna strengthen and then tap the mat with the leg straight outside to the left. Lift it back up. There you go, Lauren. All the way there, yep. Left leg is straight as well, by the way. Right there, good. Right leg up, knee to knee. Bring it down, left leg is straight. Good, knee, one more. Me. All right, here we go. Full curtsy. Right leg up. Grab your weights option. Right foot outside the mat. Both knees bend. Arms go up. Here's one. Belly tight, you guys. Nice, Phoenix. Bring it down. Right leg up. Curtsy two. So it's more about contraction the inner thighs as well. Don't just rely on the balance. The balance comes um, from the inner thighs and the core. Three. I already feel that in my mid-back. What about y'all? <laughs> Right leg up. Right leg beside the left leg. Good, we're gonna heel toe, heel toe, nice and wide and straddle. First time, no weights, you guys. Get those hips as low as the knees if that's possible. Yep, tone the inner thighs by kind of squeezing them up. Inhale the arms up. 
hands behind your head. Draw the knees apart over the toes, right elbow to right knee. Lift, left elbow to left knee. Lift, keep going, we're going three each side. Good. Last one for the board. Excellent. Okay, bend down, grab your weights. Hips are still low, but not Malasana. Nice try, Phoenix. <laughs> Hands to the hips. Spine up. She's like, she can look at me. All right, here we go. Hands possibly behind the head or right here on the hips. Lean, one, two. Okay, so I'm gonna go up. Same as before, but now we've got these weights. Your inner thigh should be starting to burn. Good. Come all the way up to standing. Weights over your head. And then back to the shoulders. Good. Press over your head. Down to the shoulders and squat. Last one, please. All the way up and all the way down. Weights to the floor. Palms to the floor. Swing the right leg back. Swing the left leg back. You know what's coming, friends. Lower. Open. And lengthen. Downward dog. Excellent. Take your three breaths. Do not pass though. Good. Okay, we're going to look in between our hands. Get our shoulders propped onto our hips a little deeper. Soften the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Jump in between your hands. Lengthen. Good. And then check your fingers. Are your palms flat yet? Can you lengthen your spine? Just kind of pay attention. Don't force, just feel it. Good. And then all the way up, mountain pose, hands over your head. Teaching this class with the weight, like you have a breath. Good Lord, hands to the heart. Back bend, inhale. Good. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift again. Left leg all the way back, please. Get the body structure aligned. Get your hip in line with your knee. We don't want it up here. And you can actually feel a difference. If your right butt pops up, there is no mobility you're getting. So feel that. Okay, grab your weights, which should be in the front. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna go all the way up crescent lunge with a hammer curl to the shoulders. Good, we're gonna stay here. Release the arms, frame the hips, perfect. Yep, and then hammer again. Yep, and then down, which just simply means thumbs to the shoulders. Good, now we're gonna add the leg variation, okay? So we're gonna go warrior three, press into the right foot, grab your energy from there, hammer curl, back to crescent, you got it. Warrior three, press into the right foot, hammer curl, left foot down, last one, hammer, left leg up, and down. Okay, hands are weights over the shoulders. We're gonna go to legs both straight as you press over your head, ready? Up and hinge. You got it. Good. Up. You may have to get an extra one in there because I'm a little slower and that's cool. <laughs> Two. Actually, this is three. Good. Bring the hands down. Step it back with the right foot, no weights. Option of chaturanga or just downward dog again. It's your option. Tone. Three, ujjayi breaths. Each time you come to ujjayi breath, imagine getting lower with the touch or the caress of the organs. One more. Good. Left leg is going up to the sky. The foot lands in between your hands. You grab your happy weights. <laughs> Here we go. Straighten that right leg, get the left hip low, find that strength, push into the left foot, take the energy up from the earth into your body. Lift the spine. Here we go. Three hammers. One and two. And place. Okay, here we go. All the way up and over our heads. I feel like I'm missing one. Anybody jump in, let me know. But if not, I'm going to keep going. Hands over your shoulders. Press one and down. Yep. Press and down. Last one. I hope I didn't forget any. I'll make it up. Hands to the floor. Step forward this time. Halfway lengthening. Get those hands down. And all the way fold. Go. Mountain pose. Hands over your head. Hands to the heart. Hands over your head. Add the back bend. 
and then down to the floor. Halfway, we lift again, and then step it back, both feet downward dog, unless you want a vinyasa, by all means, don't let me stop you. Good. Okay, we're lower down to the elbows, friend. All the way down, left elbow, right elbow, hold, walk the feet forward. Press the palms flat, right leg to the sky. Right knee kisses the left knee, both knees bend, one, right leg up, both knees kiss, two, right leg up, both knees kiss, three, right leg up. Bring the hands into a lace, drop the right foot by the left foot, option of headstand here, and just get the hips lined up for the first time over the shoulders. Press into your elbows, option of all the way up, I'm not quite ready for that yet, or I am. Holding for three breaths, two, and three. Bring your feet down. Press all the way up, downward dog. There we go. Excellent work, you guys. Lori's back. Hi, Lori. Okay, look between your hands. Jump on the exhale to the front of the mat. Roar. Good. How way we look? And all the way down we hinge. Mountain pose, hands over your head, and hands to the heart. One more time, hands over your head, add your back bend, and then exhale and fold. Halfway we lengthen, and then we're widening it out again. Squat, heel toe, heel toe, yogi squat, knees wide. Grab your weights. Okay, hey, keep those hips low. When I tell you to rise, try not to rise the chest, because that's what I do, so you can do better than me. Weights in front of the chest. Yeah, we want muscles here. We don't want to be molasses. We don't want to be weird shit. Okay, here we go. Ready? Belly tight, knees over arm, uh, toes open up like a T, and together. That's one, and two. Keep them open on this one. Keep them open. Bring it down outside the right heel. One, over to the left. One, good, belly tight. Two, just touching the outside of the heel if possible. And two, keep those knees over the toes. Three, and three. Good, hands over your head. We're going for a press, ready? Arms to the shoulders, all the way up to standing. One, all the way down. Two, all the way down, and three. Good, all the way down. Hands to the floor, weights go bye bye for a moment. Swing the left leg back, swing the right leg flat. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Three breaths, no big deal. After that third breath, left elbow comes down, right elbow comes down. Belly comes tight, walk the feet close. Spread the hands wide, left leg kicks up. Kiss behind the right knee with the left knee. One, left leg up. Two, left leg up. Three, good. Left leg up, then left foot meets the right foot. Walk the feet forward, lace the hands. Try to align those hips right over the shoulders. Options to lift up the legs. Head stand, which we know tones the vagal nerve. From here, you feel that neck stimulating all the way down through the core into the hips. Good, bring those legs all the way down. Press downward dog. Excellent work, you guys. Whatever you chose, it's your option, right? Okay, bend the knees. Look between the hands, hop to the top. <sighs> Halfway we lengthen. Exhale, we hinge. Okay, we're going again. All the way up to the sky. Good, to the heart. Inhale up to the sky. Good, and back bend. Fold down. Halfway lengthen. Good, and back down. Okay, grab your weights. Big toes together, heels slightly apart. Dip your hips. Dip your hips to 90, the best you got. Hands come all the way in front of the shoulders. Send the knees back so you can see your toes adjust. Arms open like a T. We're going over the head to standing. Over the head, half circles, and all the way down. Shoulder, I'm sorry, knees behind toes. All the way up. All the way down, chair. 
Big circle all the way up. Hold here, hips back. We're gonna go pulses up and down. 10 seconds, pulses halfway up, halfway down. Good. Four, three, two, one. Arms come down. Halfway lengthen, left leg back. Good, grab your weights. Left hand holds the weight down on the ground. Hips go low, left heel reaches back. Right arm twists open. Navel in, that's one. Bring it down, here's your lat muscles. All the way up, two. But make the shoulder move. Don't just swing the arm like it's a, I don't know. Just connect the shoulder. <laughs> Three. Okay, so we're gonna add on now. Lift it up, navel in. Hover the left hand off the ground. Hover and pulse up, one. Pulse up two, pulse up three. Excellent, good. Both hands all the way up, crescent lunge. Left heel down, warrior two. Good, palms up, keep that hip low. Reach it back, one. Right hand beside the right foot. Reach it back, two. Right hand beside the right foot. Reach it back, three. Right hand outside the right foot, left hand down. Framing the right foot. Plank pose. Chaturanga, or you can just go to downward dog, y'all. You decide. Don't stress it out. Hell, even child's pose. Shoulders back. Make your way. Three breaths. One. Make that sound. Sound like Darth Vader. Two. Bend your knees. Hop forward. Exhale. Three. Halfway lengthen. All the way down. Mountain pose. Lift it up. Hands over your head. No weights. Hands to the heart. Keep going. Stamina building. Inhale. Back bend. Oh, feels so good. All the way down again. Halfway lift. Right leg back. You've got it. Grab your weights. Here we go. Left arm lifts. Twist. Left arm lowers. Good. Left arm lifts. Two. Take the whole spine with you. Three. Keep the knee over the ankle, the left knee, please. Left arm lifts. Turn, find that belly. Right arm hovers. All right, there's one. Lower. Lift up, two. And lower. Lift up, three. And lower. Go ahead and drop the right heel. Right arm behind you, warrior two. Right arch of your foot in line with the left heel of your left foot. Reach it all the way back. Here's one. Left arm inside left foot. Good, side angle. Reverse warrior two. Haha, oh, wasn't that ironic? Side angle. Reverse warrior three. Good, navel in, you guys. Left hand outside left foot. Left, right hand frames the left foot. Okay, weights go away. Play pose. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Take your breaths. Internally rotate the thighs. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the legs again. Okay, right leg goes all the way up, please. Left knee bends. Okay, we're gonna do the switcheroos in the sky because we can. Get the shoulders plugged in towards the hips, belly in. I want your gaze just kind of like down between your hands and your toes. And bounce up in the sky, land on the right foot. So we're gonna do a total of six here. Only the right knee bends here, switch it up again. That's two, bend and lift. Really lifting that heart rate up, making the heart superior to the brain again. We're going for six. And then I want you to slowly start to bring your gaze slightly ahead of the fingers, just slightly. See what happens. You may get a moment of a hover. Okay, and now think handstand, okay? Only one leg's gonna go up. So right foot, let's get that one down so we're all the same. Phoenix is totally laughing at me now. Okay, get your shoulders ahead of your wrists. Belly in. I want you to hop the left leg over the head, okay? The right leg will stay down so we can elbows your legs. So, one, six of them. Same leg. Two, shoulders stay over the wrists. Three, your ass should be feeling this, by the way. One more. 
Good. Switch leg. Left leg down, right leg up. Toe in the legs, pull them into the hips, shoulders over the wrists. Belly tight, gaze ahead of the fingers. Left knee is the only one bending. Right leg over the head for six. One, maybe you jump into a headstand. Two, push into the floor like hell. Three, four, use your breath. And up, six, hell yeah. Good, downward dog. Give her water or tea. Three breaths. My hands are slipping. What about y'all? Two. And three. Okay, elbows come down, please. Yeah, I know. Hell. Lay to the fingers. Going up and inversion for six breaths. Hairline down. Walk the feet. Press into the elbows. Maybe one leg, maybe both legs. Six breaths. <laughs> Good, both feet down. Press your hand down, plank pose. Chaturanga, up dog. Down dog, make it work. Good. Two more breaths. Good, look between your hands. Jump in between, let's go. Holy macaroni, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and hinge. All the way up, mouth pose, hands over your head. Hands to the heart. Good, one more time, back bend, reach back, and release all the way down. Good, halfway lift, step back, left foot, lunge. Left knee comes down, shift the hips back, hips, 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 whatever, hips back. Left hand to the floor, hug that right hip in, grab your weight with the right hand. Here we go, hand to the waist, or weight to the waist, Rotate the chest up, up, up. Feel the stretch? Good. We're going to do a tricep press back. One, and then to the boob or arm. <laughs> Two, we'll go for six. Tricep press back. Three, keep pushing the left hand into the floor. Five, and then just a nice big open arm twist. Right hand over the shoulder. Yep, rotate. Good. Bring the right arm down. Bring the right knee back to meet the left knee. Grab both of your weights. Come up to standing on the knees. <laughs> Good. Weights are going to go hammer curl to the shoulders. Sink onto your heels. Back to standing on the knees as you press over your head for six. Here we go. One. All the way down. Nice, Lori. Two. Good. Good job. Here, Carrie, you're using heavy weights. Three. Good. And four. Two more. You can only imagine where we're going from here. And six. Good job. Weights down by the knees. Hands to the tushy. Push the tushy. Come on, tushy. Did I lose Jack? Oh, we lost Jack. She must have lost power. The hurricane hit her. All right, press the hips forward. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift the heart up, up, up. Okay, think of the tone. Think of all the opening and the spreading, opening, opening here, back bend, hands to the heels. So express. So here's where you get to invigorate. Here's where you get to feel recharged. To bust any bubbles of negativity, keep reaching the hips forward. Revive all the organs. Good. Come all the way up. Tabletop. Down with dog. Nicely done. Three breaths. Feel all of that adrenaline kicking in. It feels freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, bend your knees, look between your hands, jump. Oh, halfway lift. I'm sorry for the noise, noise effects, you guys. I know how annoying that is. Inhale, not pose. And to the heart. Back bend, inhale. Reach and hinge. Halfway lift. Step back, right foot, please. Okay, hey, hips go back, toes come up, left toes go up. Feel that nice, happy opening. Right palm down, spine lengthen. So you see how I had that little weird thing, Laura? Fix it, because there's a lot of us that have that weird thing. Left leg is straight, there you go. Left hand grabs your weight. Bring it to the hip, 
Press into the right hand until you stack that left shoulder over the right shoulder. Yep, and then press the left arm. Oh, no, tricep kick back. My bad, y'all. Left leg, or left arm kicks back. One. Kick it back. Two. Tricep to yes. And three. Good. Left arm goes all the way up, turn. And then left arm goes right back down. Okay, bring the left knee back to meet the right knee. Grab those weights. Come to standing on the knees. Hammer curl over the shoulders. Bring it down to the heels. The best that you can. I know, Carrie, you probably have to modify. Press one, we're doing for six. I feel like we did six on actually that tricep press back, so we're gonna have to make up for that. There's three, four, and then we're gonna come back into that happy back bend. Actually, it should make you feel happy. And six, good, bring the arms down. Hands to the butt cheek again. So whatever you want here, you guys, right? So if this is enough for you, and you feel the quadriceps really working for it, then that's enough. Otherwise, you know what to do, hands to the heels. Okay, so stimulate here, first the chin is in, and then when you get to that point where you feel like you've got as much as you can reaching forward, head drops down. Six breaths, squeeze the spine together. Lots of back muscles, all of them. Push spine, shoulders. Try and maintain your deep breath. Good, lift up the chin. Come all the way down to your heels. Grab your weights. Okay, hammer curl to the shoulders. We're gonna lift up again. Right foot forward, press. Both knees, both legs straight. All the way back down. Low lunge. Right knee back. Sit. Press. Release. Good. Left foot forward, we're gonna alternate. Yeah. Right knee up, both legs straight, press. Right knee down. Left knee back. Sit. Press. Tons of work for the hips, you guys. Right knee forward. Hands come down. Left leg straight, right leg straight, press. Good, bring it down. Right knee back. Sit. Press. Hands to the shoulders, left foot forward. Right knee up and press. Now you kind of got it here, right? So we're going for six. This is a set two. Press. Navel in the whole time. Right foot forward. Both legs straight. Left knee down. Back. Nice, you guys. Care, be careful on your knees. You've got heavy weights, girl. Up. Down. Foot forward. Rise. Almost there. Two more sets. Down. And press. Right foot forward. Press. Down. You might be on an opposite foot. I think I may have interchanged the legs, but you know what to do. One more each leg, you guys. Good job, y'all. Good. Weights down, downward dog. Bring it up. Oh, stretch out that back. Okay, let's stretch out that back a little bit more. Okay, bring the right leg up to the sky, inhale. Right foot in between your hands, exhale. Left heel down to the floor. Left arm up to the sky, over your ear. Keep the right hip low. Reach all the way back, warrior two. There's no weights here. Bring it all the way down. Bring it all the way back, warrior. Reverse warrior two. Bring it all the way down. Reverse warrior two, right into triangle pose. Right leg straight, stretch it out. Lift the left shoulder up towards the sky. Revolve it and back bend it. Good. Rebound the right knee. Press into the right foot. Grab your strength, left leg up. Half moon variation. Left leg higher. Pulsing for six. Exhale and rotation, two. Pulse up for three, four, five, six. Right into that side angle. Left hand down. Rotate the feet to the right, right arm up, side plank. Good, okay, option here to just bring the right arm up and down, or you can grab your weight. 
for one, we're going for six. You can pick two. Really get in the love handles. Three. Four. Yeah, if you've got a heavy one, I would not recommend this. Excellent. Okay, full plank, you guys. Bring it back. Chaturanga up dog. Down dog. Three breaths. We're doing awesome. We're almost there. Your bones, your muscles, your heart. Well, thank you. Maybe your lunch. Left leg up to the sky. Left foot in between your hands. Rotate the right heel down. Left hand outside left foot. Side angle, right arm up and reach over your head. Stretch out your back. Good, open up the right shoulder. Reverse warrior two, press to the left foot. Shift weight to the back. Good, all the way back to side angle. Good job. Nice dub, really nice lean into the side body. Good. Okay, triangle, you guys. Left leg straightens. Open up again. Straighten both sides of the ribs. So don't let the lower ribs sink or arch. We want straight spines here. Good job. Inner thighs both working hard. Again, you can stay here or grab your weight in the right hand, going up for six. One, navel in. Don't just swing, contract the muscles, pause at the top, slow down the landing. Three. And five, keep the hips steady. Six, excellent. Okay, turn the right heel up. Lift the right leg high, standing splits. Turn the right toes externally, lift the right arm up. Good, navel in, pulse for six, right leg. Really get into that tush. Squeeze both of them, good. Excellent work, five. Maybe that's 20. Six. <laughs> right hand down. Right leg way back into that lunge. Rotate both of your toes to the left. Coming into that side plank variation. Again, left arm can just go up and down or grab your weight for six. Navel in. Stack the shoulders. Upper spine working and core. You get a double whammy for this one. Excellent, we're going to a plank pose, you guys. Weight down, left leg back. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Okay, we're gonna stay here for six breaths this time. Six breaths in your downward dog, so take your time. Sustain the practice of fight or flight, regain that tone, regain that efficient, and facilitating the breath, the blood flow to the body. Your inhales and exhalations are the same length right now. Intentionally taking a moment to check in with your breath, how long it is on the inhale, how long it is on the exhale. Just sustain the practice, sustain downward dog. Feel your mood rising with each exhale, feel it rising. Good, okay, last inversion, you guys. Elbows down, lace to the fingers. So let's say you're, you, you're beyond headstand. You wanna do something different, do it. Tripod, whatever you want. Whatever you're working towards, do that, okay? It might be shoulder stand, and that's okay, right? So those of you who wanna do tripod instead, we'll take you through that. So hands come down, top of the head goes down, knees on the elbows, squeeze like held arms, and then the legs come up. Bring it down, knees to the floor, wherever you've come out of, child's pose, extend. Good. Take a weight off, <laughs> take a load off. Bring your knees apart, please. Bring your knees apart. And see if you can let your chest come lower between your hips. See if you can adjust your chin again to where you've got a nice long back of your cervical spine. Thank your muscles, thank your bones, thank your heart. 
and just start to feel the rapid flow of your blood start to slow down. And now we're going to go into the lymph nodes, which kind of play hand in hand. So I want you to bring your attention to your groin in child's pose. You know that triangle area in your pelvic. Good. And then we're going to kind of stimulate you there a little bit now. So we've got that area behind the neck that we're stimulating. We've got the area in the groin that we're really stimulating. And then there's another one behind the knees here that we're stimulating. So we're bringing compression to all of that, to all of that fascia, all of that lymph nodes, and now under the armpits, right? So we've got all these pockets of healing and of um, releasing more healthy white blood cells. So kind of go into that mode. And then lift it to tabletop. Bring your right leg forward and come to seated on the left heel. Bring your fingertips down beside your hips. You can sit right on the left heel if that is not very comfortable. You can bring your left heel outside your hip. Then we're gonna bend the right knee. So you've got your left heel outside your left hip or you're sitting right on your left heel, whichever one feels more comfortable and the right knee is up. Okay, so now we're gonna get through all of those pockets of lymph to really get us supercharged up. Take your left arm, wrap it around the right knee, turn behind you. Yep. Kind of squish into those pockets. Lift the right arm up, stretch it out, and then bring it all the way down. Okay, we're gonna keep twisting. Left arm outside right knee. Use the pressure of the left tricep into the outside of the right leg. Turn even more, look behind you. And then right hand to the lower back. Now, some people can bind here. I am not one of those people. So if you've got a bind, it would be left arm wraps around. Oh, sugar balls, I do have the bind today. Your hands are wrapped and bound on the inner right thigh. And you're bringing all of this attention. You're making yourself tiny, 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 like a round little ball of compression. Two more breaths. And then release. Oh, release the right leg. Let that lift kind of and then lunge forward. Right knee back, left foot forward, sit on the right heel, or foot outside butt cheek. Okay, you can also put a block, you guys, for some of you, that might be helpful. Oh, good, Jack, you made it back, I guess, what, 15 minutes ago? <laughs> and nice book you soon. Or somebody else faded. All right, here we go. So we're staying here, fingertips by the hip, belly tight, spine strong. Okay, left foot comes in. Right arm hugs the knee, left hand behind you. Turn, look backwards, lift the left arm up. Come into those pockets, get through those areas of compression. Left arm down. Okay, add some height if you need it with a block. Right arm outside that knee. Turn, gather tissues, whatever it is that needs to be burned out, you're breathing into that area. And then option to use that arm as leverage to bind. Left hand into the right hand. Left hand is on the inside of my right inner thigh. Right elbow is bound around the left knee. Make yourself compact. It's not comfortable, but it does the trick, I promise you. Think of your kidneys and your adrenal glands as well, you guys. Release bind. You should feel this in your groin a lot, you guys, if you got that bond. Okay, left leg forward. Reach forward into that lunge. Cross that ankle forward, right foot in front. <sighs> okay, grab behind your legs, your thighs. Walk your inner thighs together, sit nice and tall. From here, lift the legs. One more pocket here of the groin. And then maybe reaching up to the feet. And I want you to think of that lower back muscle, but now go deeper. Bring the chin down into this collarbone. I'd like you to try to take six Nijayi breaths. Close your eyes. Good. Bring your feet back down. Come to a cross-legged position. Extend your arms out straight. I'm going to face you all. 
and hold yourself in like a really strong um, awareness seat. So I don't want like lazy elbows or lazy belly. Nice and strong. Okay, so we're gonna come into that pranayama. That pranayama that really stimulates the vagal and the tone that helps you to turn your body on, your nervous system on like a switch, like a light, right? From calm to cool, or cool and calm to maybe not so cool and calm, but having the ability to do so because you have a, qu a high quality tone to your system, okay? Maybe join the fingers. I'd like you to take a, um, put, okay, let me pause. Bring the tip of your tongue behind the bottom teeth. Tip of your tongue behind the bottom teeth, okay? Draw in cool air, let's start with that. So your tongue, your tongue kind of curls. So draw in that cool air. Close your mouth. Exhale through your nose. Okay, we're gonna do it again. And let me teach it first. Tip of the tongue behind the palate of the bottom teeth. Inhale, draw cool air in. Close your lips, exhale through the nose. Okay, now close your eyes and find a rhythm. So once you find a rhythm, I want you to make the exhale through your nose longer than the inhale of the cooling breath. So close your eyes again. Tip of your tongue draws in. And then really go through the exhale slower through your nose. Okay, we're gonna do this for about two minutes, you guys, two minutes. Just aware of the changes that happen as you keep practicing. Feel so the shoulders begin to settle more. One more minute. Where are the challenges in the breath? See if you can overcome them to where the possible becomes, the impossible becomes possible which for us is a simple longer exhalation. This breath is called Satali breath. Which is best done after a really strong sweaty practice like you just did. Two more rounds. And after the release of this next round, keep your eyes closed and lower onto your spines. And just observe. Come all the way down to your backs. Feel how that decreased heart rate sends a message to the brain that things are peaceful. Feel how that breath send a message to the parasympathetic system of the autonomic nervous system to be calm, rest, and recover, and to settle in just like that switch and to rest and digest. So any pranayama that lengthens the exhalation is an excellent tool to optimize your vagal tone. But specifically, the breath we just finished is kind of like turning it up a notch. Feel your body, your mood, more specifically, your vagal tone happy.
your body and brain thanking you, your bones and your muscles thanking you. And then allow yourself a moment of gratitude and rest. Feel yourself in a sustained level of tone, not only physically, but through the brain, the heart, and the organs. Feel how you're at optimal function through all systems of the body. Through that rapid and strong contraction of a pro, uh, yoga practice and to a beautiful relaxation. Smoothly transitioning back into calm, back into peace, peace, cool, and calm. When you're ready, gently bend your knees. Gently roll to one side. And shift into a seated posture. Good, hands on the knees or at the heart. In gratitude and light and sweat. You guys are awesome, namaste. That was fun. Thanks for doing this with me, you guys. I really 